Why don't companies counteroffer when you resign? Okay, you know the deal. Like, subscribe, leave a comment down below if you have any questions, and feel free to connect with me on LinkedIn or Twitter. Now, I've been an engineering manager before, and I've personally dealt with good people leaving, and it always stinks. It's always weird how if a $2,000 computer goes missing, there's investigations and police and sworn statements, but if a $100,000 a year employee decides to leave, nothing happens. Why don't companies try to counteroffer and keep that talent? Well, usually when people have made up their mind to leave, there isn't a lot you can do to get them to stay. Also keep in mind, there are budgetary reasons. There is no Scrooge McDuck money bin that the company can pull from if you want to raise. The budget they have is the budget they have. If they want to give you more money to stay, they have to find that money someplace else. But at some companies, the reason you didn't get a counter offer has to do with the politics involved in being a mid to senior level manager. So let's pretend that you are an engineering manager and you have this senior developer who's really good at his job. He's been with the company for about four years. He started at 110K. He's currently making 120 k after several years of raises. Now, due to the pandemic and increasing wages, the average salary of a senior developer is now 130 k in your area. The senior developer lets you know that he found a job for 130 k Should you give him a counteroffer to keep him at your company? And also, let's say this is a good developer and you want them to stay. So you go to your budget spreadsheet and every engineering manager has one of these. So this year we're going to hire one new mid developer, one new junior level developer, and we asked for uh, $19,400 in raises. All we've got to work with is $209,000. That's it. Maybe you go to the junior developer and you bring them down to 75 k and you go to the mid developer and you bring that person down to 105 k and now it's going to be even harder to hire new people because you're giving $10,000 to a guy who doesn't even want to be there anymore. But what if, what if you didn't do this? What if you just let the guy go? Yeah, you might miss some project deadlines if the guy leaves, but you're probably not going to get blamed for that. The project manager is going to get blamed for that because it's his job to factor in attrition when coming up with project timelines. And if you are gonna get blamed, you can always put pressure on the team leads to make up the hours for the guy who left. And the team leads are just gonna go along with it and work more because if they quit their job and try to get another job, they're gonna come in as a senior developer and not a team lead, which will essentially be a demotion. Has your engineering manager ever sworn up and down that he's trying to get more people? Oh, I guarantee you, he is. So now let's go back to you being the engineering manager. Now, as the engineering manager, you can go to your boss and say, hey, director of IT, my guys are really overworked ever since Bob left. Bob was doing the job of two people, and he left because we weren't paying him market rate. Market rate is at least between 130 and 140. So I think my new budget needs to have room for two new senior engineers at 140K each. So yes, maybe you had some project slippage, but someone else got blamed for that. You just increased your headcount and you just increased your budget. So now do you understand why a lot of companies don't give a counter offer when you say you're going to leave? It's because it's actually more beneficial to the manager not to give you a counter offer. For mid to senior level managers, budget and headcount equals power. And when someone leaves, this is an opportunity to increase both. Now, the average attrition at a software company is roughly 13% a year. So if you go above that, HR is going to figure out that maybe the problem isn't we're paying people too little money. Maybe the problem is you. But if you weren't given a counter offer when you submitted your resignation, it's probably because your exit actually benefits your manager.